Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a one versus one on death row and in this one I'm going to be using the new 39th Guards Rifle Division. I'm going to be up against Neff who's going to be using the new 8th Infantry Division. Now, I am actually playing this live, it's not a replay this time, I'm actually playing it as we go. So we'll see how we do. Uh, this is the deck that I built in my battle group preview. So. Uh, this is, I think, the first time that I'm actually going to be trying it out. So let's get down some of these uh, UAZs. I think these are probably worth trying, even if they're not really going to be like that good. I think they're going to be relatively decent, but it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, their accuracy is really low. It's like 20%. So <laughs> I feel like they're going to be kind of like meme units in a sense that you don't know if they're going to hit ever. So you kind of just got to like... <laughs> hope they do. Anyway, um, let's get up some Motostarki Metis as well. I think these guys are definitely worth having at the start. They're really, really good for punching heavy armor in the face. And I'm not quite sure how far up I want to go with them, though. That's uh, one thing. I will make sure to have a couple of recon helicopters on the sides, just in case we get hit by any big... Uh, helicopter push at the start. I don't think we will because I don't think the 8th really has strong helicopters. So this might be unnecessary, but better be safe than sorry, I guess. Uh, we'll bring in a Grenza to kind of hold the center and just give us some recon information. I'm not sure what else I really want to bring in. We could bring in some uh, T64 BVs potentially. I do want to try out the Yorogun, so we'll definitely bring that out. I'm going to get a Berusa in. We'll use that. And we're going to bring in some Eaglers. I don't think they're going to be as important again against the 8th as uh, other units, but yeah, we'll bring them in. And I'm just going to kind of stack them, I think, with the other units that are moving forwards, the most circuit metis that is. I could bring in these uh, rocket helicopters. Let's see. I think this is going to be pretty good. This MI24V with the four Cocons and the 122 mil rockets. And then we'll do like a Sturm in the middle. I think that's going to be pretty good. I might want to do like a second leader at the start just to capture this objective. Though what I could do actually, instead of buying these, we'll grab the Zapati Comrati in here and I'm going to send another one further up. I think that's probably better. Uh, then we'll just do, let's see, I think maybe another helicopter is not a terrible idea. Or a BMP-3. Let's go bring in the BMP-3 and we'll try that out. All right, that'll do. Um, let's just say we're ready. Good luck, have fun. And we'll get this underway. All right, let's launch the battle. So we get these unloaded at the start here. And we're going to send the BTR 60 PB forwards. I think the BTR 60 PB is really useful. There is another way that you could probably um, start this. I think like I really like these BTR 60 PBs at the moment because they're really fast. So I think if you were smart, you could probably have them push forwards very aggressively at the start with the BTR 60 PBs and gain a lot of ground just by doing that. But since you can get so many of them, it's quite nice. But yeah, I'm really, really curious how these uh, UAZs are going to do. We've got a little recoilless rifle on the back. That guy's having a great time zooming forwards. So yeah, we're going to cap this. I'll unload this Paracom Lottie into the town. Should make them harder to find. Uh, looks like Neff also went for Anna and Center. So things are equal at the start. He did manage to capture it before me by the looks of things. Oh, it looks like he might be going for the cap onto the center. So I'm going to have to match that, I think. And I'm going to bring in a Sapade Comrati to capture this. Because I think he's going for the cap into Boris. Oh, we've bumped into that unit. Let's just unload the Eagler. Fire that away. Jump that over. So that new sound, I believe, is like spotting the enemy. I think. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to engage that ranger, though. 
and I'm gonna chase them down for sure. We want we need to take them out. All right, Birusa is there. Uh, these Motostoki in the BMP3. Uh, I think I'm gonna move the BMP3 to the left. Oh, we want to unload those. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this uh, this sound. Uh, we're gonna get my MI24 up. I should have had that up sooner. That's my bad. Yeah, that's the enemy contact sound. I might have to turn that down because it's pretty loud. I mean, it does get your attention at least. And I guess that's kind of the point. Uh, let's bring in a T64 BV. But I feel like if, in like a situation where a lot of stuff is dying very quickly, we're gonna end up hearing it too much. Alright, we found it. Uh, let's just send... I'm not sure if those have an AT launcher, because if they do, it could be pretty scary. It's an AT4, okay, that's not too bad. Let's just use the uh, Barusa here to kill them. Unload that. And I'm going to use the BMP3 to start shooting the Abrams there. Nice, the producer did the job. Good stuff. That should not be firing its AK. I need to turn that off. Uh, as for my other Eaglers, yeah, we're going to turn off the AK-74s. need to make sure I do that. Let's see how this does. I only did one damage in the front armor. Okay. Not really that useful. <laughs> <laughs> definitely need to back that up. Does it have smoke? It does, but I think it's dead, right? Or maybe not. Alright, we'll move that forwards. I'm gonna have to bring up uh, a couple of Superi on the left, I think. I'm bringing quite a lot of Superi on the left. The PVADS is pushing up. I'm gonna have to be careful of that. I'm gonna let it fire another Kokon. Hopefully, we can get the kill. And then we'll fall back. Okay, never mind. He smoked. I'm gonna go. Nice. The BMP3 actually did a really good job there. We're gonna have to bring up a snab. Mostralki still doing a good job here. And I'm kind of tempted to make that fall back. Yep, nice. All right, let's bring in the Yodagun. I really want to just try it out. <laughs> it's not really like the best thing to be bringing in right now, but <laughs> it'll be fun. All right, let's uh, get the Motostroke Metis up there. Um, Neff's been playing a lot, by the way, guys, so <laughs> he's a very good player. I'm a bit worried that we're going to get absolutely trashed, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the Mirror Industry Police here with the Motostroke BMP. It looks like we're fine. Yeah, that's good. That's a nice, nice there. Let's move this back. And uh, I'm going to land this over here. We'll get that in there. Oh, AH-1F Cobras. Mm, that's no fun. These are Rocket Cobras. Okay, let's bring in the Strela. I could also bring in a MiG. Shoot those down, because they're not that tanky, but... This could be a risk because of the PVADs. As long as it comes in and goes left, we should be fine. I'm going to have to cap that right sector soon. Yeah, so you can see the PVADs shooting that. It did a lot of damage, ouch. Um, I'm also talking about it's not doing too great. It looks like the patterns actually are a counter to that because they are able to like take a shot from the HGM but actually like fire back quite nicely. Let's get this into the Yodel there. I need to bring in another one. I need to get the leader in. So we'll bring in the Motostaraki in the BMP3 and unfortunately it seems as though the Barusa, not quite in range. What's the range on this? Oh, <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> His recon spied it before it fired. No, that's a shame. All right, we'll bring over the MI-24 to the right. And we're getting these BMPs fixed up, so that's good. I'm going to probably try and sneak these up on the left side. If I can get them through like this. I don't really have any firepower with those, though. 
this could be a waste of time. I mean, I guess I could go into center, maybe cut it off there. This Superdi Kamrati though is in a bit of a bad spot. Go on RPG. Yes, nice. Okay, good. More Stoky Metis? Oh, that's the BMP-1. This is actually a really strong rocket pod, on these. 122 mils. Nice. Very nice. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's get the EDRMs in here, and we'll get a Glenza. This should capture this soon. And I'm going to move this motor tracking metis forwards. We're going to sell that UAZ. Uh, oh no, not Mestrella. That's rude. Very rude. He spotted me. Alright, let's uh, get these on the road then. I'm going to send one back because I need to cover that off. Okay. I don't think we're doing too bad at the moment. I'm going to have one of these ready because I kind of want to bomb this unit. Nice, good hit. Ooh, ouch, okay. Uh, looks like there is some AA there. <laughs> That's not good. I don't know if that actually did the job though. Against the rifles, but we killed a couple of the... Um, a couple of the units there. Let's see if we can find the leader back here. Things are pretty rough to deal with, huh? So what I've done there is I clicked change altitude, so we went lower, so the AA can't hit us. That was actually pretty smart. <laughs> Surprised I remembered to do that. Alright, unfortunately, uh, we're kind of not doing too great there with that engagement, but it is at least holding him back. I should have turned off the weapons on my so barely here. That was <clears throat> not well done at all. Sell that. Hmm. Those Cobras are a bit of a problem. Yeah, we got the Yurigan back here. I don't know really what to fire it out though. <laughs> I could maybe try and shoot some of these. Bring in some more AA. My Borussia was here before, wasn't it? But we lost that. We get some more stock in here. I've still got my two BMP here as well. Oh, my SPG actually killed the Chaparral. <laughs> nice. Nice, very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and land this back over here with the supply truck. Uh, looks like my Yoda gun was too far forwards to actually fire at that infantry. We'll have to move it back. Yeah, that's a shame. Alright, well we lost that. Let's bring over the BMPs here. We're going to bring in a new BMP-3. I feel like I should be beating those, at least. I don't know why these Sepedi aren't firing. That's routing though. It might be because of their cohesion was low, they might have been routing. Or stunned, maybe. I didn't see. Yeah, TV1, we should win that. Oh, 
All right, BMP2, moving up. Mm, we're kind of holding on there. I'm going to bring in another supply truck. I really need these to live. If they live, that'd be great. Uh, no, it looks like they're dead. Now oh, the jet's going to get the job done. Are the PVADs? I think that's the PVADs. Right, where's my new leader? Alright, let's get some more T-64 BVs in here. We do, I think, have the advantage when it comes to... I was going to say tanks, but both my BMPs here got hit again, <laughs> and they're going to have to get repaired again. <laughs> That's frustrating. BMP does a lot of damage, actually. That's his infantry. Let's see if we can kill that dragon squad, or that dragon uh, M113. Nice. Let's get these move back. If I can keep them alive, that's all I need to do, really. Might move up and take out the engineers. Ooh, ouch. And we missed the HGM as well. It's a shame. This isn't going well. Not going well at all. Superior American armor. Getting the better of us. If I keep bringing in more T-64 BVs, plus some recon, we might have enough. Hmm, should I use the yellow gun to counter battery, maybe? I feel like it's going to be too far away. Hmm. Shut that down with his events. Where's your Jaeger half color? Cheeky, moving up. I'm going to bring these away from the flanks. I don't think Neff's going to use that to any advantage. Oh, here goes the other gun. Probably shouldn't have it in the trees. <laughs> Not exactly realistic, but kind of cool. We'll watch that land. All right. What else do I want to try before we lose in a big ball of fire? Oh, my MA8 is getting shot down. That's not good. He's getting all this infantry forwards. Very cheeky. Alright, let's try and get this in. I'm going to turn off the weapons there. Good, taking that out. I think he had recon on my Montessuki leader. Alright, keep going with more T-64 BVs. And I'm very tempted to get another MO24, but with the AA in play, I don't know if it's really going to work. We're still in the game for now. It's going to take a little while. be able to kill off those mechanized rifles quite easily. Let's just move it over. The MP is probably going to die if it stays there, so we'll move that. And my other MA8 made it over, right? Yep. Okay, good. Let's just pop the smoke, I guess. 
And we'll move the Shrella up. I'm going to bring up another one just in case it dies. I guess I could also actually rely on um, UAZs. Or not UAZs. <laughs> Eaglers is what I meant to say. We can use... Eaglers. We can actually probably use these SPGs as well. Didn't do too well there. We got one shot off, but... Nice, we got them both. That's really good. Alpha jets going after us. <laughs> Incredible. I've only got two infrared missiles left. All right, uh, I'm going to move this uh, Mi-8T over to the left. In fact, I'm going to unload this. I'm going to move them forwards. Oh, that truck. Gonna bring in plenty of BMPs. Mm, not sure what died there on oh, my BRM. We'll bring in a BRDM instead. Right there, it's actually out of ammo. That sucks. I don't know if I can use a bomber here, but that'd be what I need. I guess I could use a Yoda gun. I, I need to put this on a control group. I don't know why it's not on a control group. Uh, we'll move that back. We definitely need to get some more infantry in. Oh, we already have some Motostarki coming in. Let's put these over here. And we'll have all of these four go there. I don't know if I really care about that left side. I think our way back into this game is to probably just try and either push into Dimitri or yeah, push into Dimitri oh let's uh, hide from those patterns let them defend themselves if they can be seen. Oh, the SPG can actually fire infantry. Oh, it has one HE. Mm, those BMPs though. Oh, that's a waste. Big waste. That was it was okay. We killed two F sixteens and the and the Raven. See if the uh well these patterns, man, they're good against these BMPs. Because they're really good value for money. It's kinda of unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, BMP is somehow still alive. 
All right, let's go for more uh, BMP threes and stuff. Mm. We don't really have any other air-to-air -air planes right now. We're very much reliant on this Belisa shooting this down. Nice. All this infantry just got annihilated. Mm. Alright, shift these to the right. This doesn't have any smoke left. <laughs> that full BMP. Alright, let's see. What else can we do here? More SPGs, I think. Like, it's, in some ways, I don't like the new sounds, but I also kind of do. Because they are, they do kind of let you know what's going on. I took out one of the M1A ones. Bring in another one. I kind of wish I had smoke. Nice. <laughs> Somehow this is still alive. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, well, we're gonna get these in there, and uh, this can probably get up on the right side. We need to clear this out again and recap it because we're losing. Uh, this is not good for my flank. I'm just gonna strafe that. Finally died. Uh, I have a feeling it's over, boys. that get back up on there. I'm going to bring in one of these to cap this. Like the whole time I feel like we have been trading relatively well. It's just... Um, it just could be better. And Neff's kind of always on the front foot. He's always pushing me in a place where I'm not. My uh, SU already went down, huh? I was like, where is it? <laughs> He's already shot it down. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's bring these boys over. I need to keep the pressure up here. We took out the leader at least. Nice, took out that. Let's take out the A cab. Have the BMP help with the aero rifles. We're going to have to kill whatever's on here. Let's go ahead and bring in the T80 BV. Did I give this a supply truck? I didn't. Let's probably give that a supply truck. BRDM should help. My grins are win this engagement. Although at the moment doesn't seem to be winning. <clears throat> right, we'll have that one go over there. Most struck, you can keep moving forwards. Put this into cover.
we need to kill the uh, T8C or the M1A1, sorry. Nice, good kill. Uh, my Strala here has one shot left, but maybe, just maybe, I can make him run away. Oh wow, the BRDM actually didn't succeed on the left side, that's really sad. We don't really have anything defending the front at the moment. If I get like one rocket into these, he'll probably pull them back. Even if I can't fire another one. Yep. The faint. Ah, it's too late, are they? <laughs> Alright, well, looks like he's got us on the run. Or oh, the Kiowa there. Ouch. It's gonna suck. Ooh, I missed. Lucky. I mean, maybe I can kill that in time. I don't think we can. Ooh, we backed it off, okay. I think it's not going to matter though, because I don't have anything to contest the center right now. I think it's all over. It's a good game though. We did get to try out pretty much everything that was new, I think. Yeah. Maybe not the big MI24V, but let's see how we did. 4,860 kills, 6,167 losses. Yeah, I guess it probably felt about right. Uh, unfortunately, I probably should have had my tanks in sooner because he was kind of crutching on his M1A1s quite a bit, and I didn't really react to that soon enough, I don't think. Like early on I was relying relying a lot on these Mushtaki Metis and they just didn't really do that well because the patterns can absorb those A to GMs and stun the enemy infantry before they can fire back. Um, same goes for like a BMP2 or like the Sturm, like the patterns seem really really good against those so that's interesting for sure. Uh, the MiG-23 MLAs did really well, like they killed the two F-16s and we killed the Alpha Jet as well uh, in there and, and took down the Raven, although I don't know if the Raven's really like that important to take down because I don't think I was using any super heavy AA that used radar. But yeah, um, that was a nice game. We lost. <laughs> I kind of expected to lose going into that death. But like I say, he's played a lot of games. We go into multiplayer. Um, he's played like 71 games there. How many have we played? Have I actually played more than him? No, we played 32. So he's played twice as many games as I have. Um, yeah, I thought he'd played more than that, to be honest. Because he does. he is very active in the strike team, at least. And uh, yeah, this is the early access build, remember, guys, of this game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed me playing live. It's actually a lot harder to play while I'm commentating, and it's a lot harder to commentate while I'm playing. <laughs> so do bear with me. But hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that gameplay. Like, I've, I really enjoy playing, and I think that comes across um, from the commentary. Um, yeah. I had a lot of fun with that his recon was really strong those uh jaeger alfkada the 11 man squads able to very easily dispatch my infantry and even the rangers here doing a great job but it was mostly the m1s i think that did a lot of damage well the tanks in general like the m60s the m1 abrams the m1a1s that was what was causing me problems the ha1f cobras were occasionally but it wasn't too much of a problem compared to the tanks. I think if I'd found a way to deal with the tanks sooner by bringing in the T-64 BVs in larger numbers all at once, uh, then we probably could have turned that game on its head, I think. It was close at points, uh, but it kind of fell away from me near the end there. So GG Neff, uh, I'll probably play against him again. We'll, we'll try uh, the other division, see how we get on. But that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. 
Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Warner content in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah,